Tonight on Raw is a matchup nearly two months in the making. It was back in February that Sami Zayn upset Carmelo Hayes in the Intercontinental Championship Eliminator when Carmelo Hayes had his hand on the ropes. Sami Zayn went on to win that championship at WrestleMania and defended just a week later in Madison Square Garden. But Carmelo Hayes was not about to sit idly by and watch Sami Zayn celebrate in his victory. Sami Zayn has had a target on his back ever since winning the Intercontinental Championship back at WrestleMania. Melo threw down the gauntlet. Sami Zayn has met him in the middle. And it really came to a head two weeks ago when Melo pinned the Intercontinental Champion in the midst of a tag team main event here on Raw. There is really no denying that Carmelo Hayes has become a rightful number one contender. And tonight in his hometown of Boston, he gets his opportunity. Melo, Sami Zayn, part two, but this time the Intercontinental Championship is on the line. And also coming up here on Raw, just five nights before our trip to San Juan, Puerto Rico at Backlash, two of the four men that will compete in the Fatal 4-Way for the WWE Championship set to collide in your main event. The almighty Bobby Lashley said a simple statement seven nights ago, and it leads to tonight's encounter as Lashley goes one-on-one -on -one with the WWE Champion himself, the prize fighter, Kevin Owens. It is a stacked night of action here in the TD Garden. And of course, it is also the 2024 WWE Draft Lottery. We're going to take a look at the rules right now. 24 selections in total will be made in four rounds of six right here tonight. Selections are at random, complete random. 12 superstars head in each brand. 12 to Raw, 12 to SmackDown. No one is exempt from this draft. Of course, those 12 superstars could be tag team picks, could be faction picks, but 12 picks to each brand. It is going to be a night that changes the landscape of the WWE forever. It's the draft lottery. Five nights before backlash, the stakes couldn't get any higher. We are live in the TD Garden in Boston, and it's time to kick things off with the inner continental title. The following contest is scheduled for There is, of course, a caveat heading into this Intercontinental Championship matchup. Trick Williams barred from ringside. If Mello wants to get the job done, he's got to do something he's unfamiliar with, and that's doing it alone. They call him him. Carmelo Hayes walking into his hometown of Boston, Massachusetts, but the actions of Melo since his Raw debut 12 months ago have really led to a lukewarm reaction here in the TD Garden. But I'll tell you whether you like Melo or not, I don't think he gives a damn. Melo is on home turf one way or another. And he is going one-on-one -on -one with Sami Zayn, a match he has wanted since February the 12th, when Melo had the hand on the ropes, seemingly went unnoticed by the referee, and a matchup that possibly cost Carmelo Hayes a shot to go to WrestleMania. What well, has all led to tonight's festivities, and again, we are five nights away. Saturday, this Saturday, we're heading to the Coliseum, San Juan, Puerto Rico, live at 5 p.m. Eastern time, for the 2024 backlash. But first things first, it's the 2024 draft lottery. We're gonna get to our first round of picks after this opening match. Because what bigger way to kick things off than with a champion and a challenger locking horns in the middle of the squared circle. Ain't that what it's all about? The Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn. Won the gold back at WrestleMania, defeating the megastar, L.A. Knight. Retained the title in an open challenge just over a week later in Madison Square Garden, taking down the Judgment Day's dirty Dominic Mysterio. And it was on that night, as you saw in the highlights, that Melo set his target, attacking Sami Zayn from behind, ambushing him with his own Intercontinental Championship. Melo made his intentions loud and clear. And he has stuck down the path ever since. But tonight's the culmination. Can Melo get the job done on his own? Rick Williams has been known to aid Carmelo Hayes in victory and especially stick his nose where it doesn't belong. But if Melo wants to leave Boston with the Intercontinental Championship, he's got to do it. Mano Imano. 
What is the draft lottery is taking place right here on Monday Night Raw, but first things first, the Intercontinental Championship is on the line. Introducing the challenger from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes. And his opponent, from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn! Well, certainly a loud and capacity crowd here in the Bean, TD Garden, Boston, Massachusetts. A great wrestling city, so much history between these hallowed halls, and tonight we create more history with a live Monday Night Raw kicking things off for that prestigious gold. Whether this capacity crowd likes their hometown man or not, Carmelo Hayes is fighting on familiar soil. Sami Zayn playing an away game here tonight on Raw. Still so much action to come here tonight. The WWE Champion Kevin Owens one-on-one -on -one with the almighty Bobby Lashley in your main event. But here we go. Mello, Zayn, one-on-one to kick things off. And Mello kicking it off hot. Springboard, the lariat that he uses to perfection. Carmelo Hayes looking to be the aggressor in the early going. You gotta wonder if there is a chip on the shoulder of the challenger tonight. Two weeks ago, Melo teaming up with Seth freaking Rollins to take on Sami Zayn as well as the WWE Champion Kevin Owens, and you all saw how that went. Melo, the frog splash, pinning Sami Zayn in the middle of the squared circle. Confidence has got to be at an all-time high for the former NXT Champion, and of course, a decorated one at that. Sami Zayn never been one to back down from a challenge. Carmelo Hayes threw down the gauntlet. But did he bite off more than he can chew with the Intercontinental Champion? We're gonna find that out in due time as Sami Zayn getting the best of Carmelo Hayes right there after they jocked for position for a few moments. The Intercontinental Champion has made a career of being the underdog from an underground with his back up against the wall. And it seemingly is so again tonight. Tope Suicide to the outside. Sami Zayn willing to stop at nothing to retain his Intercontinental Championship on this live edition of Monday Night Raw. Zayn heading back to the top rope. Melo Hayes on spaghetti legs. Crossbody! Here we go, first cover of the matchup to retain the Intercontinental Championship, not just yet. Also still to come tonight, ladies and gentlemen, one half of the World Tag Team Champions main event Jey Uso set to go one-on-one -on -one with Angelo Dawkins of the Street Profits. Plus, the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura, returns for the first time since WrestleMania as he takes on the A-list star, The Miz. A loaded night of action, six-woman tag team match. Also on hand tonight in Boston. Let's focus in on the action currently between the ropes. Carmelo Hayes looking to get the best of the champion here tonight in Boston. Sami Zayn had a little bit of a flurry there, but obviously Carmelo Hayes has done his homework. Not the first time these two have been in the ring with each other. And there's a rookie mistake if I say so myself. Melo going back to the well with that springboard lariat. Zayn in familiar territory, able to sidestep. Zayn got the victory back in the Intercontinental Championship Eliminator in February. Melo pinned Zayn in the tag team match two weeks ago. A different kind of case of a rubber match tonight. Wait a minute, Melo, stack it up, Sami Zayn. Gonna steal the championship, not just yet. Goes for the clothesline, nobody home. Back and forth we start to go in your opening matchup tonight. Reversal for reversal that time, and it's the champion, the veteran Sami Zayn, getting the best of the young, possibly naive challenger. You also got to keep in mind, Melo, I'm sure, is coming in with a different strategy tonight, knowing Trick Williams is not in his corner to lend a hand. Something that Melo has gotten extremely comfortable with. And that was an uncomfortable landing for the Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn, off the miss with that Swanton Bomb. The Carmelo Hayes adding insult to injury, springboard double boots to the face off the dropkick, and just like that, 
High risk does not pay off for the Intercontinental Champion. Carmelo Hayes in control in your opening contest tonight. Remember, tonight is also the WWE Draft Lottery, ladies and gentlemen. Six rounds to have. It should be four rounds of six as Carmelo Hayes going to the top rope. Dropping the leg on Sami Zayn. A slam dunk if I ever saw one. And that might do it. We might have a new Intercontinental Champion. Got to hurry to the cover. Might have spent too much time getting Zayn away from the rope. Sami had time to recuperate. In my opinion, a miscalculation by tonight's challenger. Carmelo Hayes. Slam dunk on Sami Zayn with the leg drop from the top. Unfortunately, not to be, was a three count. But look at the agility. Got to give credit to the challenger, keeping his foot on the gas pedal, trying to remain focused here. First 48, offense beginning to stack. New chip being on the horizon. Here we go. Not just yet, Sami Zayn with an emphatic kick out. And a moment ago, we gave credit to Melo to keep it his foot on the gas pedal, but after he just stacked the offense, delivered the first 48 right on the button. Frustration coming out of the challenger. We have got ourselves a barn burn and to kick things off here on Monday Night Raw. The Intercontinental Championship is on the line. It is draft night, and these two superstars looking to see their name in the lights. Going for another slam dunk, but Sami Zayn had it scouted. Power bomb reversal. Enough to get Melo off his back. And now into the bridge. Sami Zayn looking for victory here. It's only a one count. Coming up after this matchup, we will see. Wait a minute, hold that thought. Hold that thought. Blue thunder bomb by Sami Zayn. And only a one count again. Carmelo Hayes showing his resilience tonight. Sami Zayn said, I gotta hurry up. I gotta play catch up. Blue Thunder out of nowhere. Unfortunately, did not find the result he was hoping for. However, Carmelo Hayes in an opportune position, superplexed by the Intercontinental Champion. Boston, Massachusetts coming alive as the Intercontinental Championship is on the line to kick things off. Sami Zayn with a weakened challenger. But what is going through the mind of the champion? Trying to find a way to keep down the ever resilient Carmelo Hayes. As we are about to mention, ladies and gentlemen, the first round of the WWE Draft, the picks will be in right after this matchup. We'll find out who is going where. But first things first, we need to determine the Intercontinental Champion. Four rounds of six in the draft lottery. Superstars coming to Raw. Superstars heading to SmackDown. Maybe one of these two superstars could be bringing the Intercontinental Championship to the blue brand. Anything can happen here tonight in the TD Garden in Boston. Carmelo Hayes now. With a pinfall, and Sami Zayn gets the shoulder up. You see a very unenthusiastic kick out that time. Sami Zayn showing. The fatigue starting to set in. Doesn't mean he's not going to give it his best effort. Meanwhile, Mello once again trying to steal the victory over the Intercontinental Champion, not just yet. A win is a win, but a win is not what Mello failed that time. These two superstars certainly up in the ante from their first go around on February the 12th. A matchup that saw Trick Williams getting involved time and time again. These two superstars did their homework. And are writing a completely different story here tonight in Boston, Massachusetts. The stakes couldn't be any higher as the gold is on the line. Mello taken to the outside, not by will, but by force. Sami Zayn looking for the acai moonsault to the outside. Carmelo Hayes being the fall guy for Sami Zayn's crash and burn. Mello looking up at the lights. Sami Zayn could be leaving Boston with his intercontinental title still intact. But Mello again with a shoulder up. And what happens when you start to get into the late rounds, the championship rounds, the deep waters if you want to call them? Who's going to be the better man? Who's got more left in the tank? Who wants it more? 
Will it be Sami Zayn retaining the championship that he chased from October to March? Or will it be Carmelo Hayes, the man who has targeted Sami Zayn over the last few months? Here's Melo taking down Sami Zayn off the neck breaker. And Melo may be showing he's got a second or third gear. Youth is on his side. Another super kick that time. Sami Zayn couldn't have seen that coming from a mile away. Melo wasted no hesitation, just struck while the iron was hot. Back and forth we start to go again as now Zayn is the one throwing shots. At some point it just becomes not even on purpose. This is just in the motion, if you will. Muscle memory. Sami Zayn might not even know where he is right now after that super kick. And Melo might not know where he is after the Tornado DDT. And look at this again. Another reversal that time. It's nights like tonight where you let adrenaline fuel you. You push through the pain. And Melo now over the top rope to pink and hero. Sami Zayn down and out at ringside. And now a first 48 on the outside of the squared circle. Carmelo Hayes looking to incapacitate Sami Zayn on his road to the Intercontinental Championship. Zayn in deep trouble off the cutter. Melo's got to get the champion back inside the squared circle. Or not, what has Melo got in mind here? Melo may be realizing that Sami Zayn has got more left in the tank than he oh so expected. Championships on the line, Melo willing to risk it all and the means of success. Crossbody to the outside. Carmelo Hayes stacking the offense as he needs to do. But he's got to get Sammy back inside the ring to win the Intercontinental Championship. But obviously Melo executing on a game plan, a well thought out one at that. Just trying to beat the hell out of Sami Zayn on the outskirts of the squared circle. Get that dead weight back between the ropes and Melo maybe leave it his hometown, the new Intercontinental Champion. Easier said than done. Sami Zayn trying to create some distance. Zayn wants to bring this fight back inside the ring. Melo better scurry up. Sami Zayn's obviously got the championship advantage here. Wait a minute. How much does Sami Zayn really have in the tank, though, after all that offense by Melo? Look out below! My goodness! DDT on the hardest part of the ring. Sami Zayn may not have no idea where he is right now. And Melo is not letting up. Carmelo Hayes has been in the ring with Sami Zayn. He knows what the champion's capable of. He saw his performance back at WrestleMania. Melo knows he can't leave any stone unturned if he wants to win the Intercontinental Championship tonight. Back to the top. Melo could be looking for one more slam dunk. Goes for the elbow instead. Nobody home. A last ditch effort by Sami Zayn. Hello, the kick. Out of nowhere, Sami Zayn finds a window of opportunity into the cover. And Sami Zayn retains the Intercontinental Championship. Did Melo get overzealous? Was Melo so focused on incapacitating Sami Zayn at ringside that he left a window of opportunity for Sami Zayn to crawl through? Zayn striking while the iron was hot. A halluva kick off the misstep. And Zayn is leaving Boston. Still, I see champion. Here's your winner. And still, WWE Intercontinental Champion, Sami well, Carmelo Hayes gave it a great effort, a champion in the making. But right now, the championship at hand belongs to Sami Zayn. Had the target on his back, got rid of it tonight. Who's going to be next to step up to Sami Zayn for that championship gold? Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast-paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way exclusively every Wednesday to the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok.
the superstars of Raw and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. A new season in the WWE is upon us and you haven't seen anything yet. Don't miss Velocity every single Wednesday only on TikTok. And coming your way this Wednesday on TikTok, don't miss the bruiserweight butch of the Brawling Brutes taking on the street champ Solo Sokoa. That's this Wednesday only on TikTok, only on Velocity. But it is the 2024 Draft Lottery, and we ain't gonna waste any more time. Four rounds of six, 12 picks going to each brand. Absolutely nobody in the WWE is exempt, and selection's gonna be made at absolute random. Who's going to Monday Night Raw? Who's going to SmackDown? SmackDown gets the first pick of the first round. Let's find out who is going where. It is certainly going to be the most exciting night of the year on the road to Backlash this Saturday. First up is Friday Night SmackDown. Who is heading to the blue brand? It is going to be the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, former women's champion in her own right, going to be adding to the SmackDown women's division. Asuka heading back to Friday Night SmackDown. And first on the board for Monday Night Raw, it is going to be the Nigerian giant, the colossal Omos. You got to believe Omos ain't going to be in a good mood after that loss to Braun Breaker this past Friday. Omos making his way to Monday Night's. And heading to Friday Night SmackDown, it is going to be Joe Gacy, another man who hasn't had the best luck as of late on Monday Night Raw, heading to Friday Night. You got to believe Gacy looking to turn things around when he heads to his new home each and every Friday. And speaking of new homes, who's coming to Monday Night Raw? That will be Eric and Ivar of the Viking Raiders. Tag teams and factions, everybody is here. Nobody is exempt. The Vikings bringing the raid to Monday Night Raw. And on their way to SmackDown, it is gonna be Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods of the New Day. Kofi and Woods spent the better half of last year chasing tag team championship gold. Maybe SmackDown is where they hold gold once again. And finishing off the first round for Monday Night Raw, it is the EST, Bianca Belair. Belair coming to Monday Night Raw, a decorated superstar when it comes to championship golds. You gotta believe Bianca is gonna be eyeing the WWE Women's Championship right here on Monday nights. More draft picks to come and more action is live here on Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one false, making his way to the ring accompanied by Jimmy Uso, representing the Usos from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 242 pounds, one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Main Event, Uso! This Saturday night in San Juan, Puerto Rico, the Usos defend the World Tag Team titles for the first time since winning them back at WrestleMania as they put the gold on the line against Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford of the Street Profits. A story that's been brewing since the Elimination Chamber back in January. The Street Profits do not forgive and they don't forget. They want their payback on the Usos and they want the World Tag Team Championship all while doing so. Of course, tonight an opportunity to build some momentum for the... Wait a minute here. Angelo Dawkins nursing an arm injury? Or what the hell's going on? Who the hell's he... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Angelo Dawkins is set for action against Jey Uso, but he just signaled to the entrance. The colossal Omos is making his way down the aisle. What the hell is going on? And his opponent. From Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at 400 pounds, the Nigerian giant, Omos! Angelo Dawkins just walked out here moments ago. I, you know, I'm just going to call it as I see it. I would be a betting man to say, faking some kind of arm injury, signaled towards the entrance. What is this, a substitute, a replacement? What is he, Tiff Tiffany Stratton from a couple of weeks ago? 
This is this is not what Jey Uso signed up for. Omos obviously in the building tonight. All the SmackDown superstars are. Thanks to the draft lottery, this man was just drafted to Raw moments ago. And it looks like he's wasting absolutely no time walking down the aisle and stepping foot into some action. Well, I'll tell you, this is the Street Profits trying to stay healthy and trying to get an edge over the Usos before the tag team title match on Saturday night. That's all this is. It is what it is. I guess this match is going to go off. I would say without a hitch, but this is not what was originally planned. Main event, Jey Uso is going to go one-on-one -on -one with that pissed-off giant in Omos. You know, we just mentioned it moments ago, but Omos fell short to Braun Breaker this past Friday night on SmackDown. You gotta believe the colossal giant is not in a good mood. And Jey Uso is gonna be the one feeling the wrath for it. Jey signed up to fight Angelo Dawkins. Momentum was gonna be on the line ahead of the tag team title match this Saturday. Dawkins weaseling his way out of this matchup. Omos taking his spot. Nonetheless, this is the match we got on hand, and Jey Uso gonna try to give it his da damnedest. My goodness, look at Omos. Powering down one half of the World Tag Team Champions here tonight on Raw. Look at Omos, double hand, trying to choke the life out of main event Jey Uso. Jey Uso is in deep trouble right now. How do you get your hands out of this one? Oh, a little, little right to the eyes. I don't know if the referee saw that, but I mean, you got to do what you got to do when you're in there with somebody the size and stature of Omos taking him down momentarily. Well, well documented, and we say it every time Omos steps between the ropes. One thing to knock him down, a whole other thing to keep him there. The big man's already on his feet, and I don't know if this is the guy that Jey Uso wants to throw lefts and rights with. Well, Jey's trying to hold his own. These two men jockeying for position, something you wouldn't normally see with somebody the size of Omos, but Jey Uso willing to try anything at bat. Float over DDT. Thought it might have been enough, but unfortunately Omos, like the referee was calling for a rope break there. His long limbs of the Nigerian giant certainly pay him dividends in a situation like this. Look at the strength out of Jey. That's a once in a matchup type feat. Omos rolling to the outside, trying to get his wits about him. Main event, Jey Uso, all kinds of fired up. Tope Suicida through the ropes. And down goes Omos momentarily. But now here comes the next, next problem. How do you get the big man back inside the ring? Omos on spaghetti legs. I don't know if that's the dead weight. Jey Uso wants to try to carry around, or maybe he's got one more feet of strength left in him. Jey just trying to think on his feet, was not planning to take on Omos tonight. Thought he was going to be in the ring with Angelo Dawkins of the Street Profits. However, Jey swinging all he can. Wait a minute here. Jey Uso going for a ride, a jump slam. Omos, more dangerous than ever it seems. And oh no, double hand choke slam. Jay falling from the heavens. Omos with the victory. Well, that is just ridiculous. Here is your winner, the Nigerian Giant. Omos. Jay thought he was getting Dawkins tonight. Instead, he runs into the Nigerian giant, newly drafted to Monday Night Raw, Omos! What is about that time for round two of the WWE Draft Lottery? First pick is going to go to Raw. We're going to keep alternating till the end. Who is going to kick off the second round of the 2024 Draft Lottery and make their way to Monday nights? The surprise is going to be the modern name Maharaja, Jinder Mahal. Jinder Mahal, former WWE champion, but it's been quite some time since he was in the limelight. Maybe he could turn his luck around coming to Mondays. 
And heading to Friday Night SmackDown, this is going to be the strange and unusual Nikki Cross. Somebody who's been out of action for quite some time with an injury. When she returns, she is making an addition to the SmackDown Women's Division. And coming to Monday Night Raw, it is going to be Bailey. Speaking of making additions to the Women's Division, Raw just got a big one. Add that on to Bianca Belair. Bailey coming to Monday Night, certainly looking to be a game changer. And who's going to be a game changer for Friday Night SmackDown? Oh, it is going to be the collective unit of the brawling brutes. Sheamus, Butch, Ridge Holland. All three of these men looking for a new start and looking to make SmackDown Fight Night. And coming to Monday Night Raw, an NXT pick. It is going to be Dijak, somebody who had previously been on Monday Night Raw upwards of a year ago, former World Tag Team Champion, went back down to NXT to rehone his craft. Dijak is coming back to Monday Night Raw. And last but not least in the second round, the prodigy Roxanne Perez making her way to Friday nights. Some great additions to the women's division so far in both sides of the spectrum in the draft lottery. Roxanne Perez gonna be in action one more time here on Raw right here right now as we are set for a six woman tag team matchup on the road to a high profile championship fight this saturday in san juan puerto rico there you see the number one contender who's looking to make monday night raw tippy time in five nights at backlash and from prior lake minnesota tiffany Stratton. Tiffany Stratton winning the over-the-top rope battle royal a couple of weeks ago in Madison Square Garden to earn her opportunity against Liv Morgan. Tiffany's been trying to play the mind games with the champion. Will it be enough to take down Liv Morgan and win the WWE Women's Championship this Saturday night at 5 p.m. Eastern time at Backlash? All remains to be seen what's going to happen this weekend, but right now, Tiffany Stratton alongside Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville Gonna have their hands full against the champion and two young upstarts here in the WWE. And from Laredo, Texas, Roxanne Perez. Well, Roxanne Perez has been rubbing elbows with some of the best of them over the last few months here on Monday Night Raw. And it looks like this is gonna be our last time making our way down the aisle. Newly SmackDown talent moments ago drafted to the blue brand. The prodigy Roxanne Perez looking to send Raw with a parting wish, if you will, here tonight in Boston. Perez going to team up alongside Cora Jade, who's been making some waves as of late. And of course, the champion herself, Roxanne Perez, alongside Cora Jade, two women who are on the cusp of great things. You got to feel it from those two young superstars. They don't call Roxanne the prodigy for nothing. Whether it was going to be here on Monday Night Raw or now over on Friday Night SmackDown, you got to look out for Roxanne Perez. Could be a force to be reckoned with in the SmackDown Women's Division. And Cora Jade certainly been making waves and maybe making some enemies as of late here on the red brand. And from Chicago, Illinois, Cora well, before Angelo Dawkins took a page out of Tiffany Stratton's book earlier tonight, it was two weeks ago here on Raw that Cora was set to go one-on-one -on -one with the Buff Barbie herself. Tiffany Stratton wasn't really interested in competing so close to Backlash. Of course, forced to compete in this six-woman tag tonight, but we saw the return of Chelsea Green, former NXT superstar, debuting here on Raw for the very first time. Chelsea Green, however, didn't fare like she would have liked against Cora Jade. Jade picking up a huge victory against Chelsea two weeks ago, hoping that momentum spills over into this six-woman tag tonight in Boston. All these women have been intertwined over the last couple of weeks, but it really all comes down to the buff Barbie and the champion this weekend, and the gold's on the line in San Juan, Puerto Rico. And say her name and she shall appear. You know, Cora Jade tested her skills against Liv Morgan a few weeks ago in a respectful battle. Liv Morgan picked up the victory and then continued that momentum seven nights ago, one-on-one -on -one against Sonya Deville. 
Matchup that Tiffany Stratton tried to get involved in, but I would bet only fired up Liv Morgan in the middle of battle. Tiffany alongside her recent running buddies in Sonya Deville and Chelsea Green, two women who know each other very well for their days back in Tough Enough here in the WWE. Nonetheless, all these women joining forces tonight and drawing a battle line in the sand. Who is going to build momentum towards the championship match on Saturday? And as for the rest of these women, who's going to take the next step in the women's division? Roxanne Perez coincidentally wearing the blue tonight. Moments ago, drafted to Friday Night SmackDown. Going to be her parting wish, I'm sure, is to try to get victory here on Monday Night Raw. Cora Jade tagged in. As we mentioned, she has been pretty busy as of late here on the Red Brand. Was in that final two in the Battle Royal with Tiffany Stratton back in the garden. Just came up short. It was very close to being Cora Jade challenging for the title at Backlash. Unfortunately, wasn't meant to be. A week later, she did take on Liv Morgan in non-title action. Really gave Liv a run for her money on that night. And I think that's the matchup that's really opened a lot of the WWE Universe's eyes to Cora Jade. Both her and Roxanne did some damage in their time in NXT, but ever since coming up to Monday Night Raw last year, really haven't seen much out of either of them. Roxanne really starting to get in the fold over the last few months. Competed inside the Elimination Chamber matchup. As for Cora Jade, it's just this last month or so here on Monday Night Raw, and she's been rubbing elbows with some of the best of them. Chelsea Green. Gets tagged in and immediately ends up in the same position she was a few weeks ago when Cora Jade knocked her lights out. Now it's Roxanne Perez getting her hands dirty. Roxanne, I'm sure, would love victory as she exits Monday Night Raw and heads to Friday Night SmackDown, but you gotta believe it's easier said than done. If I'll bite a very talented unit on the other side of the squared circle, one of those women being the number one contender for the WWE Women's title. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, 48 hours from now, Velocity exclusively on TikTok each and every Wednesday night. The newly drafted to SmackDown, Bruiserweight Butch, going to be involved in what is now an interpromotional matchup against the street champ, Solo Sokoa. That's going to be a fight if I ever see one. Solo and Butch, one-on-one, -on -one, this Wednesday on TikTok. And a buff Barbie, Tiffany Stratton getting tagged in and immediately making an impact in this matchup. Many say Tiffany Stratton is a complete package inside of that ring. So much strength, so much agility. And on Saturday, we very well could be calling her the WWE Women's Champion. Easier said than done against Liv Morgan. We talked about it last week, we'll say it again. If Liv Morgan can take down the Nightmare Rhea Ripley at the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania, who's to say anything is impossible? On any given night, anybody can have their day. And Tiffany Stratton's day may be this Saturday in San Juan, Puerto Rico. And look at Tiffany Stratton getting a cheap shot on the champion. May come back to bite her, however. She focused on Liv Morgan. Roxanne Perez made the tag to Cora Jade. Now Cora and Tiffany locking horns for the first time since the Battle Royal. A matchup that was supposed to be one-on-one -on -one just a couple of weeks ago. Tiffany Stratton, I'm sure, would love to make an example out of Cora or even Roxanne Perez tonight. Very well could pick up a victory over the champion in the meantime. A tag made to Sonya Deville and a little double team action by two very versatile competitors. Never want to mess with Sonya Deville. She is a tough cookie inside of that ring. MMA background gave Liv Morgan a fight last week and now beating the hell out of Cora Jade in the middle of the squared circle. I'll tell you what, this has been an action-packed night here in the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts, and still so much action to come here at the 2024 Draft Lottery. Shinsuke Nakamura returning to the squared circle for the first time since his loss to CM Punk at WrestleMania. Going one-on-one -on -one with the A-list superstar in The Miz. And of course, your main event, WWE Championship, I should say WWE Champion Kevin Owens gonna be one-on-one -on -one with the almighty Bobby Lashley just five nights before the WWE Championship is on the line at Backlash. Right now, six-woman tag team matchup on hand. Cora Jade and Chelsea Green picking up where they left off two weeks ago here on the Red Show. So Chelsea Green does not want to revisit the results of two weeks ago, but she may not have a choice by hand of Cora Jade, but there's a kick out that time. 
Now Roxanne Perez getting taken care of by Sonya Deville. Cora Jade, oh my goodness, Ragdoll and Sonya. Sending her for an amusement park ride. Thanks for coming. Got to keep her eyes on the ball. Chelsea Green, the legal competitor, and a sneak attack from behind. I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, so much more action to come here on the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts. Canadian destroyer by Chelsea Green. And a kick out that time by Cora. This six-woman tag team matchup continues when Raw returns to Boston next. Coming your way on Saturday night, April the 13th. Witness the aftermath of WrestleMania as the superstars of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown head to San Juan, Puerto Rico for the 2024 Backlash. This international live premiere event streams live at 5 p.m. Eastern time on Saturday night, April the 13th. And as a new season approaches, what will these superstars have in store? You haven't seen anything yet, and nothing can prepare you for the backlash. We are back live here at the Draft Lottery. Tiffany Stratton going one-on-one -on -one with the WWE Women's Champion Liv Morgan in the middle of this six-woman tag team matchup. A preview of the title fight at Backlash. Oh, and Tiffany with a mean discus lariat. Liv Morgan getting tagged into this matchup, hoping for revenge after that cheap shot by Tiffany a few minutes ago. So far, not going so well, but Liv off the reversal that time. Champion and challenger jockeying for position. Momentum riding on the line as we are just five nights away from our trip to San Juan, Puerto Rico. Chaos taking place at ringside. Sonya Deville mixing it up with Roxanne and Cora. Chelsea Green wants none of the fight. Meanwhile, Tiffany Stratton hanging in a tree of woe. Reversal that time, and Stratton with the drop kick. These two women fighting tooth and nail in the, in the middle of this six-woman tag team matchup. I'd imagine the fight they are going to bring to the Coliseum on Saturday when the championship is on the line. And that Roxanne Perez, not even the legal competitor. Tiffany Stratton taking care of Perez and Cora. Look at that, Liv Morgan taking care of Sonya as well. Asia Smith has got a lot of combustible elements on her hands. Action starting to break down in the middle of this tag team fight. Meanwhile, Liv Morgan, code breaker to Tiffany Stratton. Could be defeated the challenger before the title's even on the line. Not just yet, Tiffany Stratton with the shoulder up. Tag made to the generation of Jade. Cora knocked off the apron moments ago by the buff Barbie. I'm sure that ain't gonna sit well with her. Down goes Tiffany Stratton. And now what's Cora got in mind? As things start to break down at ringside once more, gonna be going for that double arm DDT. Tiffany Stratton saw it coming from a mile away. Stratton and Cora continuing their fight from the Battle Royal just a several weeks ago. Action's breaking down our ringside, doing our best to keep up with the fight inside the squared circle right now. Cora Jade may be in trouble. Tiffany Stratton with a beautifully executed corkscrew. And Liv Morgan not allowing the three count. Liv not allowing her challenger to build any, mit, any bit more momentum on the road to backlash. Meanwhile, Roxanne Perez trying to deal with Sonya Deville at ringside. Chelsea Green watching along as Tiffany Stratton may be about to eradicate Cora Jade in the middle of this six-woman tag. Cora Jade not even allowing a one count that time. Tiffany Stratton desperate for victory, however. I'll tell you what, big fight feel here in this six-woman tag team matchup. With opportunity and momentum riding on the line. Wait a minute, Tiffany Stratton. Rolling up Cora Jade. That might be a rope break if I say so myself, but the referee sees it different. Tiffany Stratton stealing the victory in this six-woman tag team matchup. 
Momentum on the side of the number one contender, the Buff Barbie climb in the ranks without will, without force of the champion. Liv Morgan may be in trouble this coming Saturday night when the WWE Women's Championship is on the line. Here are your winners. Like him or not, Chelsea Green, Sonya Deville, and Tiffany Stratton making one cohesive unit here in Boston. And we may be looking at the next WWE Women's Champion. Will it be Tiffy time this Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern time? San Juan, Puerto Rico, Stratton, Liv Morgan, one-on-one -on -one for the WWE Women's Championship. Well, we are halfway through our draft lottery selection. Still two more rounds to go. SmackDown going to be up first in the third round. Who is going where? Who's going to Friday nights? Who's coming to Mondays? We're going to find out right here at the draft lottery. Up first for SmackDown. It is going to be... Oh, man, the Trick Mello Gang. Carmelo Hayes coming up short at the top of the hour. Now, him along with Trick Williams making their way to SmackDown. Intercontinental Championship hopes going up in smoke. What about for Monday Night Raw? Some additions to the women's division. Katana Chance, Caden Carter, former women's tag team champions, going to be bringing their exciting action right here to Monday Night Raw. And heading to SmackDown each and every Friday night. It is going to be the ever versatile Apollo Crews just falling short to the antics of Dominic Mysterio last week on Velocity. Unfortunately, Crews not going to get a chance at revenge against the Judgment Day. He's heading to SmackDown. We're well, talking about antics and talking about strange and unusual figures. Look no further than Dexter Loomis. Been out of action for some time with an injury, but he's making his way back. He's coming to Monday Night Raw. Heading to Friday Night SmackDown. A man who could be a difference maker any day of the week and twice on Friday, the big strong boy, Tyler Bate, has been chasing championship gold for months. Maybe SmackDown is where he achieves that wish. Last but not least, coming to Raw. Wait a minute. The badass Braun Breaker. Wait, wait a minute. Breaker's challenging for the world championship this Saturday at Backlash. But now he's coming to Monday Night Raw. Does this mean if Breaker wins the gold, that he's bringing the big gold belt to Mondays? I, I gotta be I'm shocked at that choice, ladies and gentlemen. Nobody exempt and completely random drawing the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship on SmackDown. The badass Braun Breaker faces Gunther on Saturday night. I guess it's win, lose, or, or draw. No matter the result, Breaker is coming right here each and every Monday to Raw. That is a game changer. Let's try to refocus. Action is on hand. And his opponent from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura. Well, I am in shock from that last round of draftees. We still got one more round to go at the bottom of tonight, but let us refocus. The A-list superstar, The Miz, continuing his losing streak as of late. Any given Monday, he can turn it around, but luck has just not been on the side of a man who has nearly done it all in this business. And certainly not drawing a hand he would have liked tonight. One-on-one -on -one with the returning king of strong style, Shinsuke Nakamura. This is Nakamura's first time in action since WrestleMania, and I'll tell you, Nakamura might have come up short but I think Nakamura is feeling some type of way about his actions at the show of shows. We spoke to Shinsuke earlier today, and he simply had this to say in broken English, of course. We're paraphrasing, but Nakamura saying he might have come up short at WrestleMania, but only one man walked out of WrestleMania, and that was him. He beat up CM Punk so bad that Punk has had to take time off, which is true. We haven't seen Punk since the show of shows. Nakamura said he has checked his list not once, but twice. And Nakamura said he has kept his receipts. Who he's talking about in that sentence. I, again, I'm paraphrasing reading the script here, but nonetheless, Nakamura with some strange words earlier today to WWE.com. And at the end of the day, he's back in action tonight.
Actions speak louder than words. Let's see if Nakamura is going to be able to get back in the winning ways after his loss at WrestleMania. Loading at the fact that he might have hurt CM Punk on the show of shows regardless of the result. What does that mean? Checked his list twice. Kept his receipts. What, who could Nakamura be talking about there? Eerie message from the King of Strong Slot. Nonetheless, Miz taking the fight to Nakamura. Here on Monday Night Raw in the draft lottery of what has been an exciting night and a shocking one at that thus far. Miz is losing streak, continuing on as of late. Had one going for a while. Was able to break it back on Christmas night. And then fell right back down the rabbit hole of another losing streak. Got squashed by Braun Breaker, both figuratively and literally off the tsunami back in Madison Square Garden last week, or excuse me, last month. Maybe tonight, he turns it around, roll up on Nakamura, not just yet. Shinsuke Nakamura, I'm sure, did not come to Boston to play games. Death Valley driver, Nakamura wasting no time. Miz able to pop the shoulder off the canvas, but obvious damage done. Miz looking worse for wear if I say so myself. King Shasa, my goodness, Nakamura. No hesitation, statement-making victory here in Boston. Here is your winner, Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke Nakamura making quick work of a former WWE champion. And as he told WWE.com earlier today, he's checked his list and he's checked it twice and he's kept his receipts. Who the hell is Nakamura referring to? What has Nakamura got in mind? The King of Strong Style victorious upon his Monday Night Raw return. Well, Backlash is coming your way this Saturday night, but what comes next? The ball never stops rolling here in the WWE, and we have not one but two live premiere events to announce. First things first, this is a SmackDown exclusive premium live event coming your way Saturday night, May the 4th at 5 p.m. Eastern time for the Golden One Center in Sacramento, California. It is SmackDown exclusive Battleground. And then just one week later, it is a Monday Night Raw exclusive event. The Raw brand is heading to the Mechanics Bank Arena in Bakersfield, California. A Monday Night Raw exclusive event. Live Saturday night, May the 11th, 5 p.m. Eastern time for WWE Vengeance. Battleground May 4th, Vengeance May 11th. You aren't gonna wanna miss a second of the action. But well, we are just five nights away from our trip to the Coliseum, San Juan, Puerto Rico, for the 2024 Backlash, live this Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern time, and it is certainly gonna be an action-packed night in the Coliseum. First things first, from Monday Night Raw, the World Tag Team titles are on the line. The Street Profits might have stuck it to the Usos earlier tonight, but will they be able to do so on Saturday as Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford take on Jay and Jimmy for the World Tag Team titles? From Friday Night SmackDown, the Women's World Championship gonna be on the line. Selena Vega survived the gauntlet match a few weeks ago, but will she be able to survive the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, the biggest opportunity of Vega's career back home in Puerto Rico? Tiffany Stratton victorious in the six-woman tag earlier tonight, but will her momentum ride into Puerto Rico? And will she find success when the WWE Women's Championship is on the line against Liv Morgan? Will Liv retain, or is it Tiffy time here on Monday Night Raw? The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes thought he buried the hatchet with Randy Orton at WrestleMania. Orton says this story ends on his accord. He is looking to send Cody Rhodes home from San Juan in an ambulance. It's an ambulance match between the American Nightmare and the Apex Predator. Also coming your way from SmackDown, these two combustible elements bound to explode. Roman Reigns competes in the WWE for the very first time in over two years as he goes one-on-one -on -one with the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. The World Heavyweight Championship will be on the line in what is now an interpromotional match. The number one contender, Braun Breaker, has been drafted to Monday Night Raw. 
this, this coming Saturday night, it's win or go home. Win the world title against Gunther, or you're heading to roll empty-handed. What's going to happen in Puerto Rico? And the fatal four-way matchup for the WWE Championship, the almighty Bobby Lashley, the former champion, Seth freaking Rollins, the megastar, LA Knight, and Kevin Owens, who is going to leave Backlash as the WWE Champion. We find out this Saturday night, live at 5 p.m. Eastern time for the 2024 Backlash. But it is main event time here at the TD Garden in Boston. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds. The almighty Bobby Lashley. Well, Bobby Lashley, somebody who's been chasing a one-on-one -on -one match for the WWE Championship for months, not necessarily getting his wish tonight. The title will be on the line on Saturday. Well, Lashley, a chance to set the pace, set the tone for the WWE title match as he goes one-on-one -on -one with the champion himself, Kevin Owens. Lashley, a former WWE champion, walked into the Backlash event two years ago, holding the richest prize in the industry. This coming Saturday, Lashley looking to leave Puerto Rico as the brand new WWE Champion. Easier said than done, but take nothing away from the almighty, all the tools to get back to the top of the mountain. But will he be able to get through the ever tough, the ever resilient, prize fighter, the 2024 Royal Rumble match winner, the man who won the main event of WrestleMania? And his opponent, from Marineville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, the WWE Champion, Kevin Owens! Well, Kevin Owens has already got one feather in the cap in his WWE Championship reign, retaining against the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus, back on opening night here on Raw. Hot off the heels of main eventing WrestleMania Sunday in March, winning the WWE Championship against Seth freaking Rollins. Owens has had a target on his back, and all of the challengers have been at each other's throats for weeks here on Monday Night Raw. Sneak attacks on Kevin Owens by Seth freaking Rollins. Rollins targeting LA Knight. Brawls in the aisle way. LA Knight and Lashley going at it. Lashley throwing his weight around in a sense, saying if anybody wants Kevin Owens, they gotta go through me. It all comes to a head on Saturday. Three challengers, one champion, and one decision to be made. But before we get to Puerto Rico, one more bell to sound here in Boston, Massachusetts. Kevin Owens, Bobby Lashley, one on one. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, the draft lottery will continue after this matchup. One more round of picks to go to see who's coming here to Raw and who's going to Friday Night SmackDown. Stay tuned for those results, but we got to handle the action inside the squared circle at the very moment. Momentum riding on the line for these two superstars. Neither looking to take a loss before they compete for the WWE title on Saturday. Remember the megastar LA Knight just a number of weeks ago picked up a huge victory over the almighty Bobby Lashley, a win that really solidified his spot in the WWE title conversation as of late. Lashley still trying to ride that high Defeating Solo Sokoa in a no-holds-barred match back at WrestleMania. Of course, Bobby Lashley, ever since then, has made his presence felt, made his intentions clear that he wanted the WWE Championship. You know, Lashley's had a lot of reasonable arguments over the last couple of months here on Monday Night Raw. Obviously, was the number one contender for the WWE title, was taken out by Solo Sokoa back in the fall. His issues with Solo just really bled on to Bobby Lashley month in and month out. Lashley finally buried that hatchet at WrestleMania, but will Lashley be able to stay focused on the task at hand? His desire for a one-on-one -on -one match that he did earn, I'll bite, for the WWE Championship, becoming a fatal four-way on Saturday with LA Knight and the former WWE Champion Seth freaking Rollins involved. All remains to be seen. What's going to happen in the Coliseum? Right now, Kevin Owens just got to find his way out between a rock and a hard place. Bobby Lashley beating him down for a few moments, but now Owens dishing it right back to him. I'm sure wherever they are, 
here in the TD Garden, the megastar LA Knight, as well as the visionary Seth freaking Rollins have got their eyes on this contest. One last scouting report to be made. And the road to backlash, trying to find a weakness in the arsenal. Both the champion and one of the challengers. So Owens off the elevated DDT to Bobby Lashley. Over that time, referee John Cone calling it right down the middle. Boot was under the ropes. And again for Bobby Lashley. Tonight's really a chance to get that momentum back on track. A win at WrestleMania, a loss to LA Knight. I think anyone would tell you it's a little bit of a rocky ship, but especially heading towards a monumental fatal four-way on Saturday. Lashley's got to be hungry for victory here tonight. Certainly would be a confidence booster to the almighty. As for Kevin Owens, 2024 has certainly been his year thus far, winning the Royal Rumble matchup. Winning a no-holds-barred contest against Karrion Cross back at the Elimination Chamber. Of course, taking down Seth Rollins on WrestleMania Sunday. The victory over Sheamus in Madison Square Garden last month. Will his luck run out this Saturday in the Fatal 4-Way? All remains to be seen. Right now, he's just got to try to find a way through this monstrous heavyweight, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Into the ropes, or over them I should say, Lashley goes. Kevin Owens with his eyes locked on one of the challengers. The WWE Champion looking to make a statement ahead of his title defense this Saturday night. Up and over he goes. Bobby Lashley worse for wear off that landing. Bobby Lashley fell short to the defiant LA Knight a few weeks ago. Not looking to do so again, but he may not have a choice if Kevin Owens has anything to say about it. Owens has been riding that high, that momentum wave, all throughout this year thus far. Ahead of his second defense, I should say, in this championship reign. A loss tonight could certainly be a confident shaker to Kevin Owens. And if anybody's capable of doing so and handing him that L, look no further than the almighty. The dominator that is Bobby Lashley. These two men jockeying for position in this matchup. Lashley with a mean shoulder block, asserting his dominance over Kevin Owens. Lashley getting fired up here in the TD Garden in Boston. Great contest it has been in your main event thus far. Owens back into the corner. Bobby Lashley here. Belly to belly suplex, down goes the champion. Kevin Owens in all types of trouble, and Lashley not letting up. The almighty keeping his foot on the gas pedal. Bobby Lashley looking to make a statement to the champion that he is in the ring with, and the two challengers that can't be watching from afar. A megastar LA Knight felt firsthand what Lashley's all about a few weeks ago. Lashley's had his go-arounds with Seth freaking Rollins. Of course, dating back to the Royal Rumble in January and that triple threat match with Solo Sokoa. Bobby Lashley knows what is at hand. It's the championship that he has been chasing since he earned number one contendership back in October. Kevin Owens may be in trouble. Into the ropes, he goes, and a spear. Lashley cutting the champion in half. Maybe all she wrote here in the garden. Not just yet, Owens getting the shoulder up. Lashley, damn near in disbelief. Boston, Massachusetts certainly appreciating the efforts of these two superstars. Lashley, however, not appreciating the fact that Kevin Owens popped the shoulder off the canvas. Lashley gonna try to press forward. Meanwhile, Kevin Owens trying to find a way back into this matchup here. Oh, look at the strength out of Lashley. That's no small man. Bobby Lashley asserting his dominance once again. Kevin Owens may be taking a very unappreciated loss on the road to backlash this Saturday night. Bobby Lashley continuing to press forward. Owens is surviving, certainly not thriving. Lashley is just stacking this offense, whether Owens likes it or not. Action packed has been the word of the night. Here at the 2024 Draft Lottery, still to come your final round, your fourth round, six more picks to go, three to roll and three to smack down. The results to be revealed in moments after this main event matchup, but first we gotta see who's gonna be riding that momentum into the fatal four-way on Saturday night. 
Kevin Owens in trouble. Finally seeing a window of opportunity, taking out the knee of Lashley. Lashley's been controlling for a number of moments, but Kevin Owens trying to find a way back. Just keep fighting is the mantra of the WWE Champion. Cannonball! And now it's Lashley in an opportune state. Kevin Owens needs to strike by the iron top. Pop-up powerbomb! Referee calling for a shoulder up. Maybe it was a rope break. Either way, offense certainly done. Bobby Lashley may be in trouble. That's Kevin Owens now coming alive. Into the cover once more. Will that do it? Could be a huge comeback for the champion tonight. Unfortunately, a three count not on the horizon just yet. That is what Kevin Owens needed to do. Couldn't waste any time putting Bobby Lashley in a headlock. Had to go right for the finish. Pop-up powerbomb. Unfortunately, Bobby Lashley still with life left in him. And now a reversal. Hanging Owens up in the top rope. We have got a fight on our hands between two of the four that compete for Owens' very WWE Championship this Saturday night at Backlash. Bobby Lashley continuing to wear down on Kevin Owens. Certainly a matchup that could set the pace for the title fight on Saturday. These two men very well could dish so much offense to each other that neither one head into the championship match at 100%. LA Knight and certainly Seth freaking Rollins would love to see that. Kevin Owens had a window there. Unfortunately, Lashley might have shut it emphatically back in control is the almighty ragdolling the WWE champion from pillar to post Kevin Owens might have thrown his best shot a pop-up powerbomb the moonsault not enough to keep Lashley down and look how Lashley has taken the crowd out of this thing has weakened Kevin Owens is wrestling his pace and now going for a reverse dominator Kevin Owens getting turned inside out and now what? Bobby Lashley isn't done dishing the pain. Man, Bobby Lashley looking to make a statement tonight and you can't argue with him. Been so hungry for the WWE Championship. He sees his opportunity on the horizon and tonight he looks to set the pace for Backlash. Nobody home off the middle buckle spear attempt and Lashley sending him to the outside. Should say Owens said and Lashley to the outside and now a senton off the apron. Owens needed to get this fight in a brawl-like situation where Owens is most comfortable and where he's most effective. A stutter on the outside. Kevin Owens desperate to try to get back into this matchup, creating some distance, a stutter on the outside and maybe going for a count out victory here. The WWE Champion needing to mix the... Oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Seth freaking Rollins from behind! What the hell? Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Rollins and... Oh, wait a minute! Now what? The Megastar, LA Knight! Making his way to the square circle! And he's going after the man who curb stomped his lights out two weeks ago on Velocity! We started with two, now four. LA Knight and Seth Rollins going at it. Combustible elements exploding before our very eyes before we get to the fatal four-way on Saturday night. Rollins causing the disqualification. Owens gonna win by default, but LA Knight lock, look, not looking to allow Seth Rollins to get the last laugh. Blood, force, trauma. Could we be looking at the next WWE Champion? Ladies and gentlemen, we must refocus one last time. The energy is palpable, and there is one more round in the WWE Draft Lottery. Who's going where after a chaotic Royal Main Event? Oh man, it can, can it get any more exciting? Can it get any more surprising? What now? Well, kicking off the final round, the draft lottery, the whole shebang, Johnny Gargano coming back where he found success at one time as World Tag Team Champion right here on Raw. 
and heading to Friday Night SmackDown. Wait a minute, speaking of the World Tag Team titles, the number one contenders, they face the Usos on Saturday, but looks like they're finding their new home, regardless of the result, on Fridays. The Street Profits to SmackDown. My goodness, and now Piper Niven coming to Monday Night Raw. A dominant force looking to take the women's division here on Raw by storm. Headed to SmackDown, it is gonna be the rough and tough and up and coming Blair Davenport. She has fought some of the best of them here on the red brand, looking to do the same on Friday nights. And the last pick for Monday Night Raw is going to be the OC, the machine gun Carl Anderson, the big LG Luke Gallows, the United States champion who defends the gold this Friday against Ricochet on SmackDown, AJ Styles, the OC collectively coming to Raw. And the final pick in the draft lottery going to Friday Night SmackDown is going to be... What? The almighty Bobby Lashley! You gotta be kidding. When Lashley gets back to the locker room and receives this news, I don't think he's gonna be a happy com competitor. Excuse me, the, the excitement is all over the place. Lashley's heading to SmackDown ahead of the fatal four-way match this Saturday night. I don't know what to think. Lashley, LA Knight, Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens, something's gotta give. It's the fatal four-way for the WWE title this Saturday at Backlash. Coming your way on Saturday night, April the 13th, witness the aftermath of WrestleMania as the superstars of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown head to San Juan, Puerto Rico for the 2024 Backlash. This international live premiere event streams live at 5 p.m. Eastern time on Saturday night, April the 13th. And as a new season approaches, what will these superstars have in store? You haven't seen anything yet and nothing can prepare you for the backlash.